Hello and uh, welcome to the channel. I uh, picked up this Condor E-Track kit and uh, it's an adapter for my trailer um, chalk and uh, that I've never actually used because I didn't uh, have a trailer that I was going to bolt it through the floor with. But uh, now that I've got this one and I, I put in this E-Track, I um, wanted to have an option besides the uh, um, the rear axle holder based um, thing that I have from Pitbull, the trailer restraint, and uh, um, so I wanted to have a, an option for you know bikes that I didn't have a setup for, um, including my Super Tenere, which takes a uh, very special, um, wider version of the trailer restraint kit. So just didn't want to pony up for that, and I already had this kit, this chalk, and so um, got this I think for another hundred or so, hundred hundred and thirty bucks. Um, so we're going to take it up and uh, open it up and see how it goes. So this is, uh, I don't know if I have a great picture of it. There it is. So this isn't the chalk itself. This is just the piece that goes between the E-Track on the floor. Open it up. We've got some instructions and bolts and goodies. We have, uh, hold this out. Hard to be one-handed. Might need to cut that. Let me cut this off here. This one. That didn't quite do it. Okay, so it turns out it was uh, just me being a little weakling. It's attached to the packaging to these little things. So this is like the, as they call this, the boomerang. This goes on the very. Uh, um, sort of leading edge of the chalk, where you would roll the bike on, it keeps it stable and just gives it gives it a place to sit down. And, uh, got some brackets here. And then uh, the rest of it is pretty well packaged. Pieces in there that I'm just gonna take a minute. Uh, it's still all just packaged here. I'm just gonna take a minute, pull it apart, and show you the bits. Okay, well, after a uh, small and um, exciting battle with the uh, packaging, you can see all these wonderful little buttons they um, connect it all up with in the cardboard. It's uh, um, surprisingly frustrating to get those out, but <laughs> I managed, I pulled through. So um, here's the bits. Looks like you got a Main cross piece here, adjustable um, uh, shaft there to go through these holes to adjust the length. Um, and then a couple of these guys who will go on the shaft um, when you, uh, um, once you get it bolted down. And then I, uh, I think the um, chalk itself is gonna screw into these guys and hold it steady. Then you've got these um, E-Track clips and pins that are gonna go through the um, brackets here on the end, and then of course the boomerang that goes on the front. So I think that's um, pretty actually pretty simple setup. I'm gonna take a break here and get my chalk and uh, see how it all comes together. Okay, so I went and uh, retrieved my Condor trailer chalk um, and a uh, tasty beverage. So very important on a job like this. Make sure you have one. And, uh, mmm. That hen house is good stuff. Anyway, so here's the trailer chalk. I actually haven't used it. I have unpacked it and set it up a little bit, but I've never actually used it. I'm gonna pull this out. Take a look. You can kind of see it's got a spot for the front wheel. And then here this little pin comes out. Stand up, just like so. And uh, add that in. So, you get the idea. standard motorcycle chalk. And because this is the trailer only model, it just comes with these plates here on the bottom that are um, wing nutted on. And uh, <clears throat> 
ready to go. So it's not really meant to be freestanding. It's meant to be bolted down. But since I have not bolted it down to my trailer, and since I did put the E-Track in, I'm looking to just use this jolly to make it a little more portable and avoid putting holes in the floor. Uh, I will come along and put my uh, Pitbull trailer restraint in for my sport bike, but this will be a nice thing to carry my um, adventure bike and you know anybody else's bike that I can put anywhere I want, either either side. So that's the idea behind this. Um, this is a uh, six by twelve trailer. You can see I'm still kind of in the midst of doing a little remodeling and installation and plan on putting a window in, but. Uh, that's what this is. The trailer's made by um, Easy Hauler. It's all aluminum. It's kind of nice. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna go and get these set up and come back to you. Okay, I wanted to give you a little preview of how it's all gonna come together. So there's the chalk in the middle. Um, I took these two pieces off. This is what you would use. These are attached to the underside of that. Um, and what you would use if you were actually gonna bolt into the floor. Um, and then of course these little wing nuts go and attach the chalk to the uh, plate so that the uh, plate is all that's here when you don't need the chalk. Um, I'm not doing it that way. I'm of course using this E-Track thing. So the E-Track thing comes with this boomerang, which is going to attach right to the foot of that. Kind of just goes right under, like so. Attach right there. Um, and then uh, here's the main bracket and uh, the way it's kind of laid out. It comes with... Uh, um, this little guy that, that latches, this little guy that is uh, just slides here and is sized for the outer tube. Um, and then that smaller one, which you would use if you were um, doing a regular, like um, their, their garage chalk that has a wider um, stance. It actually bolts like here and here is where you would position these. Um, I'm not doing that since I've got this. I'll show you a picture though in a sec. Um, but then the rest of these parts, these guys are the brackets that um, you know, these, these go here and they connect up to the, to the, um, uh, to the E-Track and there's a pin that goes through and then a bolt that actually connects, connects this job, right, into the end of that, it's threaded. So, kind of a pretty simple setup here, let me show you the instructions. Um, these are really good, actually. Um, they're available online, uh, that's one thing I really like about Condor, they do a great job with their with their instructions and make it available to people. You can just go right on the website and, um, and download these. Um, but here in this picture, you can see what it looks like when you have one of their regular um, pit stop chocks, they call them, that already has a bar and it's good for a nice and stable support in the garage. Um, obviously you spread, spread these uh, jobbies out further. But mine is gonna look like this when I'm done. I am just simply omitting this piece because I don't need it for anything. Um, I'll just keep it in the, on the shelf with the rest of my trailer gear. Um, they do have it here in the picture, of course, but it doesn't serve any purpose for my application. Um, so that is, uh, that's it. I'm going to put these together a little bit and, uh, come back and show you in a sec. So just a quick detail on the way these, uh, e clip um, or E-Track uh, clips work. So here's the finished end, um, here's the other end. I'm just gonna put it together real quick. So you get, let's do it one-handed here. Go through, through the uh, hole here, and making sure it's facing the same way. Go through the second hole, and uh, then I've got a pin. And the pin just goes, goes through. Sorry for the crappy camera work. Um, so that's how those work. And then, as I said, on the, each, uh, on the end of these, there's a threaded hole. So they provide a shoulder belt. And uh, so it literally just kind of goes right to there. And then here's the little pile here. I promise I'm not sponsored by a hen house. Although it'd be nice. Um, and then the uh, shoulder bolt just goes right in here. when I have two hands. But anyway, that's how these work. And then you know, just kind of slide into your E-Track. Like so. 
so anyway that's that's how it goes and then keeps it from lifting up mostly so I guess once you tie it down it's gonna be okay we'll see how it is when it's all done okay so here's the whole thing installed um, I didn't put the uh, actual chalk bits in yet just because I wanted to see how uh, uh, how it's attached but you can see this is the um, e-track brackets going here. Um, I was having trouble with that one a second ago and only because this thing was kind of turned under and was jamming in there so just word of advice pull that out so it's kind of facing up and then you won't have any trouble those fit right in. Um, so here's where they bolt to the chalk itself um, and of course the bottom half bolts here. Um, you can see there's a lot of like, um, the whole thing can actually come right off the ground just because there's play in there, designed that way. Um, so, end of the day, you definitely want to tie it down, obviously, um, and not have uh, not rely on the shock other than just keeping the wheel straight. But for me, that's going to be a big help just because it'll hold the bike up while I'm getting it tied down. Not to mention, I actually had, I don't know if you can see it, it'd be a little hard to see. I had the front wheel kind of skipping around under some big old bumps, um, my big adventure bike. Um, and uh, so it actually got a little bit of slack as it was moving around and probably could have tied it down a little bit better, but this is going to really prevent that from happening. So that's the whole idea. Um, so anyway, here's how the uh, chalk works. Pull that out. This guy comes in. And uh, it gets this way. Again, I'm probably going to have trouble doing this one-handed, but uh, let's see if I can cheat a little bit. Here's a hand. There we go. Okay. So, just like that. Pin goes in. Right over here. On there, good. I don't know. This might be upside down. I'll have to check and see. I don't know if it matters. It's just a slightly different in either dimension. It probably is upside down. And of course, this one here goes in like that. And we'll pin it and hold it. And uh, that's what you look like when you're finally done. Except it doesn't fall down. That's it. Maybe if I get a chance, I'll uh, load the bike in and show you how that looks.